Hello. This video will cover the newest features available in the CN Maestro 4.0.0 release. Please note, I have added a table with the features covered and the times that they appear in this video so that you can review each feature at a later date. Designed to simplify the management of network devices, ASSIST is a security audit tool that helps identify potential vulnerabilities in the network infrastructure. ASSIST were introduced for PMP products last year and has been updated to support ePMP, CN Matrix, and the R series home devices, with more devices expected to be supported in future updates. ASSIST help network administrators identify and troubleshoot all possible problems associated with the network. It shows the severity of the issue and the affected devices. This information helps Cambium customers weave an optimal network fabric, reducing frequent tests and breakdowns, and increasing reliability. ASSIST can be accessed on the network tree. Select a network or a specific device and you will have access to the ASSIST page. The ASSIST page will highlight the vulnerabilities in your network. A lot of times devices have not been completely configured and will have default passwords or channels that are not set correctly. To drill into an ASSIST, click on the title and you will get more detailed information about this particular vulnerability. If you click on the host name of the device that is causing the issue, you can drill down into the dashboard of that device, but more importantly, you can drill down into the configuration page so that you can remedy the vulnerability. The Cambium NSE now offers VPN multi-factor authentication. Users can log in to the VPN with multi-factor authentication using Google Authenticator. Multi-factor authentication in a VPN significantly increases security by providing an additional layer of authentication beyond a password alone. It helps protect against stolen credentials with compliance requirements and to protect from network attackers trying to gain unauthorized access. To configure VPN multi-factor authentication, open up your NSE group. Then go to the VPN and RADIUS server page, and under Client VPN, select the box next to Enable Two-Factor Authentication. This will enable multi-factor authentication using the Google Authenticator. Another new feature available in the NSE 3000 is Flow Preferences. This is part of the SD-WAN feature and allows users to send Layer 3 traffic on a specified WAN interface. Flow preferences operate in either strict or flexible mode. Flexible mode allows the traffic to fail over to other WAN links if the preferred link goes down. In strict mode, traffic will be dropped if the preferred link goes down. By using flow preference, organizations can optimize their network traffic to ensure that critical applications or services have a reliable and consistent connection, while other traffic can be balanced across multiple WAN links to improve overall network performance and availability. Traffic can also be customized to flow through a specific WAN link using Layer 3 or Layer 7 protocols. To configure the flow preferences on the WAN link, once again, open your NSE group and go to the WAN page. Then scroll down to the Flow Preferences section. To add a new Flow Preference policy, click the Add New button. Select the WAN interface, WAN 1 or WAN 2, and then select the policy, Flexible or Strict. You'll need to configure the type of policy this is. Layer 3 is a traditional firewall rule, and Layer 7 is an application control rule. If you select Layer 7, 
you'll need to select whether you're going to specify an application or an entire category of applications. Cambium offers the ability to manage over 2,400 different applications, so instead of scrolling through the entire list, it's probably easier to do a search for the specific application you wish to build this policy on. Once you've selected the application, click the Add button. Another new feature for the NSE is the NSE Group Import. The NSE Group Import ensures consistency in service configurations across all devices, minimizing the risk of misconfigurations that could lead to network disruptions or security vulnerabilities. Additionally, Group Import enables administrators to easily update or modify services across multiple devices, which can be particularly beneficial in large-scale network environments. To import an existing NSE group file, go to Configuration, NSE Groups, and click the Import button. Give the new group a name. Select the scope of the network you wish to import this group into, and then browse out to your local system, select the import file, and click Import. The NSE now offers three different IP assignment modes, static, dynamic, and PPOE. PPOE-based IP assignment provides a way for the ISP to authenticate its users before granting them access to the Internet. This authentication process helps to prevent unauthorized access to the ISP's network, which helps to increase security. It also allows the ISP to dynamically allocate IP addresses to its customers. This means that the ISP can reuse IP addresses as customers connect and disconnect from the network, which helps to conserve the limited pool of available IP addresses. To configure PPOE as an IP assignment mode, open up your NSE group, go to the WAN page, and then under the WAN1 and WAN2 pages, go to IP address assignment and select PPOE. You would then need to configure an account name, a service name, a username, and a password. CN Maestro provides a toolbox to troubleshoot and diagnose issues with the NSE. This option allows network operators to quickly and easily diagnose and troubleshoot issues with their network, ensuring maximum uptime and a positive end-user experience. To access the toolbox on an NSE, first go to the NSE appliance that you want to work with, and then go to the Tools page. On the Status page, you can review the status of the NSE, whether it's up or down. You can download tech support files. And you can reboot the NSE. The Debug page allows you to capture and download logs of deep system level processes. The Remote CLI gives you remote access to the CLI in the NSE using CN Maestro. The Packet Capture page allows you to create new packet capture files or open existing packet capture files. And the Network Connectivity page gives you connectivity tools such as Ping, DNS Lookup, and Traceroute. CN Maestro has added support for site-to-site -site VPNs using the NSE devices. This allows for secure communications between different sites of a network. With this feature, network administrators can easily create and manage VPN tunnels between different NSE devices in their network. This can be especially useful for businesses that have multiple branches or remote workers who need to access network resources securely. To configure the site-to-site -site VPN, open up your NSE group and go to the VPN and RADIUS server page. In the Site-to-Site -site VPN section, to add a new link, 
click the Add New button. Give the new VPN link a name. Select the Ike version and the role, either Initiator or Responder. Enter the remote and local ID and the local subnets. Then enter the remote subnet, the remote PSK, and the local PSK. And then click the Add button. Configuration lock is a critical feature that prevents unauthorized or accidental changes to Cambium devices configuration. This configuration lock now extends to the Cambium NSE. These locks ensure that the device configuration remains intact and secure, protecting against cyber attacks and other security threats. By using configuration locks, network administrators can enforce strict access control policies, helping to maintain the integrity and confidentiality of network data. To apply a configuration lock to an NSE or other appliances, go to Administration, Settings, and Expand Advanced Features. Select the Lock Wi-Fi AP CN Matrix NSE Device Configuration button and click Save. The Factory Reset Software button allows administrators to reset the device quickly and easily to its original factory settings. This now extends to the Cambium NSE. This can be useful in situations where a device has been compromised or misconfigured and needs to be restored to its default state. Additionally, a factory reset can help to troubleshoot issues with the device's configuration or performance. However, it is important to note that a factory reset will erase all data and settings on the device, so it should be used with caution and only when necessary. To factory reset the NSE, select an NSE, go to the configuration page, and at the bottom you will see the factory reset button. Application control enables network administrators to monitor application traffic through the Wi-Fi network and create policies to prioritize throttle, or block traffic for specific applications or a group of applications. CN Maestro supported application control visibility and with this release adds policy control via the user interface. Application control operates at layer 7, which includes application-specific data. Application control policy can be used to prioritize or restrict traffic based on the specific needs of a business, such as prioritizing Microsoft Office and Salesforce, while blocking Netflix or all streaming media. Over 2,400 applications are supported by the Deep Packet Inspection Engine in Cambium Wi-Fi 6 and Xeris APs. To create an application control policy, Go to Configuration, Wi-Fi Profiles, and then Access Control Policies. Either open an existing policy or create a new policy. Go to the IP and Application Filtering Rules section, and to create the new policy, click the Add New button. Give the new policy a name. And then enable IP and Application Filter Rules. In this instance, we will put a higher QoS on Microsoft Teams traffic. So for the action, we will select Allow in any direction. And then for the layer, we will select Layer 7 Application Filtering. Type will select Application and then search for Microsoft Teams. And then for traffic shaping, we'll select QoS and give Microsoft Teams traffic the highest QoS level available, which is 3. And if we wanted to, we could enable a schedule so that this policy is only active during certain days of the week and certain times of the day. 
CN Maestro's centralized management capabilities allow administrators to easily manage firewall policies across a group of access points or a wireless LAN at layers 2 through 4. This capability enables granular firewall policies to be set on specific criteria, including the source and destination MAC addresses, IP addresses, ports, and protocols. With the ability to configure policies at different layers of the OSI model, administrators have greater control over network traffic and enhanced security. To create a Layer 3 firewall policy, go to Configuration, Wi-Fi Profiles, Access Control Policies, and then either open an existing policy or create a new policy. Under IP and Application Filtering Rules, click the Add New button. Give the policy a name and then enable the policy. In this policy, we will block FTP traffic, so for action, we'll select Deny and Any, and the layer will be Layer 3 IP Filtering. Protocol will be TCP. The source port and destination port will both be 21. And the source and destination IP information will be any to cover all IP addresses. And then we'll click the Add button. Cambium continues to enhance CN Maestro X over time to bring greater value to the platform in managing Cambium products. This includes the CN Matrix Ethernet switch solution, supporting exclusive features in CN Maestro X, such as Q&Q, auto device recovery, cable diagnostics, policy-based automation, or PBA, MAC address lists for PBA, location services for PBA, and assist security audit. All CN Matrix switches onboarding to CN Maestro X on March 1st, 2023 or later will require the purchase and activation of Tier 20 subscription slots. Okay, this concludes this video highlighting the latest features available in the CN Maestro 4.0.0 release. Thank you for your time and have a great day.